What's your piece of advice on how to be an excellent blackjack player? Hey, what's up, ninja? Hey. You ever look at gambling and always thought, shit, I could do that. I could make easy money. And then when you try it, you, you just get fucked in the ass and get scammed, or worse, you, you just lose. And now you're contemplating cheating, trying to recuperate your money. But here's the thing, you suck at cheating, you suck at counting cards, and I don't know, there's cameras everywhere, so you're bound to get caught. But there's always those that slip through the filter and successfully cheated. But like every other successful cheater, they don't know when to quit and do eventually get caught. Nani? So we really don't want your action here anymore, and if you're smart, you won't show your fucking face in here again. Okay, John, call him up, please. Counting cards has always been a cool thing to talk about because only a few people could actually pull it off. Hey, check this Russian guy out. Remember him from last month? And get away with it. Those guys look familiar too. The first group I want to talk about spanned it for three decades and created two generations of successful blackjack card counters. In 1979, Six MIT students and residents of the Burden Corner House at MIT taught themselves card counting. The first MIT blackjack team continued to play throughout the 1980s, growing to as many as 35 players by 1984. The first blackjack team only lasted from 1979 through 1989. A big factor of that was due to player burnout. In 1992, Bill Kaplan, J.P. Mazur, and John Chang decided to capitalize on the opening of a Foxwoods Casino nearby Connecticut, where they planned to train new players acting as general partners. They formed a limited partnership called Strategic Investments. The limited partnership raised a million dollars significantly more money than any other previous team but unfortunately with just a year later in 1993 its leading players have been banned from most casinos forcing strategic investment to pay out all of its substantial earnings to all of its players and investors and dissolve the partnership One of the reasons why Vegas casinos have upped the ante in surveillance, this guy. We had a, a real effect on the way that casinos do business in Vegas. Mike Aponte was a math whiz kid from MIT who was on a card counting team that scored millions at the blackjack tables during the 90s. So here's the MGM Grand. This was our favorite casino to play. We won our most money here, well over a million dollars. We had a really good run for about six years playing at all the different properties and I guess by the time it was all done we had won I don't really like to give out too detailed information but we had won well over well over 10 million dollars but the casinos caught on to Aponte and his teammates and under Nevada law casinos have the right to ban anyone they considered advantaged players and they did just that to the MIT gamblers Caesar's Palace, I was escorted out. We created a procedure to stop them. That procedure, information sharing. All these people we trespassed over the years, we know who they are. Caucasian male. Nowadays, casinos like the Aria have databases filled with thousands of faces of people who are no longer welcome to gamble there. And that information is shared.
After the collapse of strategic investment, a few of its players took their winnings and split off into two independent groups. One group called the Amphibians, and the other group called the Reptiles. These teams had various legal structures, and at times, millions of dollars in bank accounts, with 50 plus players. By 2000, the 15 plus year reign of the MIT Blackjack team came to an end as the players drifted. Why are you following me? You want to become the fifth Hokage? Listen up, you little sh I don't care if you are the Hokage's grandson. You can't just snap your fingers and become a top ninja. You better be ready, Squirt. Because if you even think about being a Hokage, you'll have to beat me first. Next time, my name is Tommy Carmichael. <laughs>